All right, guys, how's it going? It is Friday, the 11th of May, 2018, and you're watching CapTalk.tv. Right. How's it going, guys? You're all right? Hey, listen, them fuckers on Facebook are fucking picking on me again. I'm not having it, guys. I'm not having it. And this thing in front of my face, it's a bit, you know... I know what you're thinking. You think it looks better when it... I know if it covered the old my fucking face. I don't know. What do you think? Are we sticking with this mic? Or are we going back to the old one? Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, listen, so... Um, what was I saying? Them, fuck, them fuckers on Facebook, guys. I'm not having it, right? Yesterday, right, dozen news article, right, a dozen news article, right, about, um, about reports in Spain, right, claiming, right, that Real Madrid and Mo Salah had an agreement in place, right, a transfer agreement in place, subject to both clubs, right, agreeing a fee uh, a transfer fee, yeah? Right, yeah? You've got that so far, yeah? Fuck me. Fake news. Fake news. Crap talk. Fucking... Uh, right? Do you know what I mean, right? In the headline, it said... the fucking Whatever it said, it said something like... I mean, do I have to fucking look, really? Let's have a look, just so that we, we can stay on point here, right? Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Liverpool FC New. I'm on coptalk.com. Right? Right, here we go, here we go, here we go, right? Real Madrid secure Mo Salah transfer agreement. And then, in big capital letters at the end, it says this word, right? It says claims, right? That bit there is to indicate claims. Someone's making a claim, yeah? Multiple sources, reports originating from one place and guess where it originated from guys all right so in the first fucking paragraph the opening sentence right to aid those who are just a little bit fucking thick right claim the latest reports coming out of madrid why do you think it says that guys right why do you think i spelled it like that why do you think i spelled it out like that should i say right so in the headline Claims, big fuck off capital letters to stand out to go, hey guys, these are only claims, right? So before you have a fucking nosebleed, do you know what I'm saying, guys? This is how I have to think with these fucking morons, right? Opening paragraph, claim the latest reports. Claim reports, yeah, originating from, guess where it's coming from, guys? Madrid. We are Madrid, Madrid, see the connection there? Did you see what I did, all right? Then, all right, the final paragraph, however, Liverpool insists that the player isn't for sale and Anfield officials claim that they hope to secure Salah's signature on a new and improved contract in the not-too-distant future. In other words, chill out, relax, don't worry. Right? Seriously, guys, the amount of fucking hassle I have to endure off these peasants on Facebook is off the fucking grid, right? And then I get someone that asks a fairly straightforward question and says, do you not think a couple of weeks before the final that you should not be touching on this? Do you know what I mean? It's like, hang on a minute. So we, we, can, only, we can only tell people what people are claiming if it's in a positive light. We can't touch on things that are negative. So let's just, for argument's sake, say yesterday people start going, oh, I've heard some, some reports that there's a deal being agreed between Real Madrid and Liverpool. I wonder what that's all about. Let's just imagine there's someone like that out there, right? So what we try to do is say, whoa, guys, chill out, chill out. Look, claims originating from fucking Madrid, not Liverpool, from Madrid, right? So you've got to try and help clear things up. You've got to try and help people. And then people on... I, I can't understand this. It's the people on Facebook are the fucking worst. Now, it's I know it's absolute, like, bile and absolute fucking scrotes on Twitter as well, but I have my permission set so I don't see comments. So when I put something out on, um, on, on Twitter... I have it that I can't see or even ever see the replies that come back in relation to it unless I'm, say, following them or they're following me. That limits the amount of idiots there is, right? So that's all right. Facebook, it's, it's, it's shit on a Facebook page because you can't turn off comments, so you have to endure everything. And then you have to, you know, you have to go through it. You have to you try and educate people and say, do you not realise why? It says claim. Do you know what I mean, guys? We've gone through this before. They do my fucking heading. And that's when I really begrudge 
providing any of that content for them people. Do my head in. The majority of people are fine. Why should they suffer? Do you know what I mean? And I said to this kid, yes, he said, well, you know, you're right. You know, a couple of weeks before uh, a final, you know, reports to, you know, destabilise things if you want and things like that, if that's what you want to believe is fine. You know, but we kind of like, I try to aim for an audience that's adult, even though I act like a 10-year-old myself. I actually try, you know, and, and, and try and attract an adult audience to cop top people that can, you know, read stuff and go, mm, that sounds a bit dodgy, that dunk, to be honest, but I see what you're trying to... Do you know what I mean? Rather than teenagers that just, like, ugh, they, they, can own, they cannot contemplate, you know, the... And they, do you know what, what? They can't contemplate rumours and stuff like that. It has to be positive. And do you know what annoys me, guys, is the same thing happens, right, or has happened for the likes of Torres, Suarez, Coutinho, right? even further back with Alonso, right? So they come out and they give you shit, and usually nine times out of ten, if not fucking ten times out of ten, because that's why it says DKB on my fucking cap, right? Don't know his best, right? It usually ends up being fucking true anyway. You know, so that, like, now, so Salah's come out, hasn't he, and said, which is good, you know, not, I'm very happy here, right? Which is very good. But how many other players before him said they were very happy and then went on to leave? Yeah? Now, I never, ever in a million years thought that Fernando Torres would leave Liverpool. I never, ever thought that would happen. And I'm not naive. You know I'm a miserable fuck, right? And, and, and I look at everything, like, try and be like... Just like, yeah, I believe it when I see it, sort of thing. But I all, you know, I always thought that he would not do it. I'd never, if he'd have said to me, no, he'll go to Chelsea, which at the time, it was quite, the relationship between Liverpool and Chelsea wasn't fantastic, as Brendan Rodgers would say. And when he went there, I said from that day forward, I'll never trust a player again in my life, never. And you know what? To this day, I actually now do forgive him because I understand the politics behind it all and why it happened. You know, and I think he was a good egg. And I think he was lied to and that. But the other fuckers... You know, if you don't want to play for Liverpool, fuck off. Now, I, my opinion is, and I've been banging on about this for months, is I think there is a plan. Um, messages popping up on my screen. I think there is a plan, a, a career path, if you like, that's been mapped out by his agent, who I don't trust. Right? Well, what agent do you trust, Chubbs? Well, I, 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 there's some are better than others, and I, I'm not down with this one. Right? I mean, he might be a nice guy and all that, right? But um, just stuff that you hear, right? I think there is a plan, a career path for him to end up at Real Madrid one day. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Because Coutinho followed his career path and got his dream transfer, for example. I don't think there's a problem with that. I think it's when the lie and when the bullshit you and stuff like that. Now, I think Salah's a good egg, right? Him personally, I think he's a good egg. And I think that if he says he's happy at Liverpool, then he's happy at Liverpool. And I... And, Probably been my. I don't want to say. How can I say it? Um, someone I know that's a you know that you you would call a source or whatever. I would just call them a friend. They you know they're they're pretty. Um, I can't I can't say too much, but they they would know. Um, they continually say that Salah is happy at Liverpool, and anyone could say that, couldn't they? At the, at the club. You know, and they're going to feed that out. But it's just like people have different relationships. People work in different capacities. Any official at Liverpool got on, he's very happy here. But more so down the line with the people that work with him on a daily basis, if they're saying, no, he's, he's really happy, he's not like having private conversations about one day doing this. So I, I actually do believe that he's quite happy and content where he is. And I would like to think that we'd get another year out of him at least. Now, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I, I've, I'm, I'm old enough, daft enough and fat enough, right? To realise that money talks, in football especially, and you never say never. Never say fucking never, right? So, but I also have this, like, this little hunch that I, I don't want to say a hunch, because then you'll say that I made a claim, eh, claiming big capital fucking letters. No, I've, I've got this fee, all right, hang on a minute, no, 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 let's word it properly. I wouldn't be surprised if, out of the nowhere, a new contract was announced that he'd signed a new contract with Liverpool. That wouldn't surprise me. If it just came out of the fucking blue, right? Because they're obviously trying to get him on, on a better on a better deal. So that wouldn't surprise me. But at the same time, I've, I just I'm not down with his agent very much. That's all. You know what I mean, you just, you just hear things and you just you get little. Don't know. Don't know what I mean, guys. So 
the, the point of the video really is to just I wanted to just like let off some steam because them fuckers on there do my head in. They absolutely do my fucking head in because most of the time they don't fucking read. And then you know what they say? They'll say clickbait. Right, how is this? How is this clickbait? Right? How is that clickbait? Real Madrid secure Mo Salah transfer agreement in capital letters claims. How the fuck is that clickbait? Do you know what I mean? The whole article is one hundred percent true. It is saying. It is saying. What, my message is popping up again on my screen. It is saying, I'll let you have to go, Stu, hang on a minute, mate, sorry, because you're throwing me off. It is basically saying what the Spanish media are claiming. This is what they're claiming. Whether you choose to believe it or not, it's a different thing, but the, the, the basis of their claims. But the facts is that they were claiming that. The Liverpool Echo touched on it as well. Various places touched on it. And it just annoys me so much when they say clickbait, clickbait. One thing we don't do is clickbait. And the thing is, do you know why you don't clickbait, guys? One, because your readers lose faith in you, right? And I've done this for 20 years nearly now. And we're not, we don't need to do that. We don't need to mislead anybody. And the second thing is, it's an absolute myth with my website that it would make no difference if anyone clicks through or not. It doesn't make any difference. Cop Talk makes its money from, from memberships and subscriptions. It's as simple as that. That's where the majority of it comes. On all articles, usually now, or I try to, like this one says, article continues for Talk members. That's like a bit of, you know, do you want the feedback, my opinion, like I'm doing in this video. So in all reality, you know, what I may say on the members' website, I may discuss here with you. Do you know what I mean, guys? It's just like, you, you've just... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just fucking. Do you know what I mean? You try to you, you try to balance it for everyone and that. And I don't know, man. It's just on that that fucking Facebook does my shedding. Honestly, it really does. There's some absolute tools on there that just uh, fucking stress me out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's just annoying me. And I'd like to you know give a shout out to. Uh, there's one in particular uh, comment that I saw on there yesterday. Uh, I did put a post on trying to shut them up, right, and, um, man, man, there we go, there we go, there we go, I did a lot of news today, let's have a look, uh, so that's hilarious, I've done a news article today that says, Barcelona centre-back to sign for Liverpool, and then I put claim in capital letters, and someone's put, what does claim mean, that's because they obviously saw me arguing with these people yesterday, and calling them out, that's fucking, that's, that, I like that humour, uh, Let's have a look. Scroll down. Hey, did you see that Sky Sports News uh, put a graphic on the put a picture of Mo Salah and they put Liverpool manager on? Did you see that? I put that on on Cop Talk today. Uh, here we go. Um, <laughs> oh dear me! Right, where is it? Richard Brown. He put straight to the point as always. The best LFC related page and website there is. No fannying about, telling things how they are and not trying to sugarcoat anything no matter how much we don't like it. Keep it up, Dunks. Yeah, I love, I love shit like that. I love shit like that. Um, and Marco Marjanovic, I think it is, he said, you see this right here is why I love Cop Talk. I, uh, sorry, don't take any shit from the snowflakes and numb nuts. Seriously, I love this post. So, yeah. I, had to, I just had to make a video about it because it was doing my head in. And at the same time, I wanted to touch on those claims. You know, that's what the Spanish media are claiming. Do we believe it? Nah, of course we don't fucking believe it. Is there a path for him to uh, to end up there one day? Yeah, I think there is. I think that's his ambition. I think that's the thing that he wants to do. And I think that there's a lot of pressure from his uh, homeland for him uh, to do that. I really do. I think this boy's under a lot of pressure from his country, guys. Uh, I don't think it's just as, as cut dry and as, as simple or whatever as we think in terms of, you know, just, uh, you know, oh, it's just a transfer. He just wants to get his dream move. I think there's a lot of pressure on him from, like, fucking the high, as high as you can get in his country for him to, to go to Real Madrid. I really do. So I'm going to contradict myself here, all right, and say in the summer it would surprise, would not surprise me if he joined Real Madrid. And it wouldn't surprise me if they announced a contract out of nowhere. It really is. With him, I think it could go in either direction. You would like to hope that he won't go yet. Do you know what I mean? And I do I do feel that there's a bit of Torres about him. And what I mean by that is, I kind of warmed to Torres. I thought he was different. And I get that feeling with Salah. I get, he, I get he's the sort of person that won't bullshit you. 
Do you know what I mean? I don't think Torres really bullshitted us. I think he just sort of downed tools in the end because he was depressed and wanted to get out. And I don't fucking believe him with that shower of shit at the time. At the time, I was very angry about it. You know what I mean? You'll remember that. But I do think that there's something about Salah that makes him a bit different. You know, and, um, you know, you've got people like Daniel Sturridge spending 150 grand, was it, or whatever, on a fucking, on a, on a, on a fob or something, on a bracelet or something for his a car, car key or something. And you've got this kid, Salah, paying for operations and stuff like that for kids back in his homeland and stuff. Uh, you know, he's, he's just, he's just, he seems different. And whether you were going to like the next thing I say or not, <laughs> it's just tough shit. But, you know, like Coutinho and Suarez, I thought they played the club at times. I mean, you, I, I, in particular, Suarez, you know, go away, be misquoted, then come back and, you know, I remember that. Do you know what I mean? I've been watching translation. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not allowed to do that. So, you know, I just think, some, I just prefer it when a player goes, hey, look, you know, it's, I, I've given me, me best for, for the club. I've given me best for the club. And um, but my ambition is this: What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Then when I want to go, they go fucking go. I don't give a fuck what happens from after then. You lot were all fucking in tears when Alonso left. I couldn't give a fuck. I, do you know why I couldn't give a fuck? Because at the end of the day, if you don't want to play for the club, fuck off. Go and live your ambitions and all that. I ain't got a problem with that. I think that's great, honestly. But when people are going, oh, I hope he goes on to win everything, Alonso and that, I was like, I couldn't give a fuck what he wins. Not ass, I don't play for Liverpool anymore. He's a nice lad and all that. Thanks very much. Total pro and all that. You know what I'm saying? But fuck off. You know. Suarez, look, I'd fucking. Might have been a great player, but I thought he, he, I thought he was a bit of a fucking clown, to be honest. Like, you know what I mean? I can't help it, guys. This is what I thought. Yeah. Coutinho, another one. Yeah. But you, we saw all them rumours of him, you know, threatening to go on strike and all that. I fucking believe all that, mate. Honestly, you lot are all like, oh, no. No, well, not you lot. Them lot, should I say, they're all like, oh no, no, don't believe anything you read in the paper, he's staying, he's not going to leave Liverpool, he's not leaving, he said he's going to leave, very happy. Do you know what I mean? I'm sat there going, fuck off you mugs, man. <sighs> this has been a ranting video, hasn't it? Yeah, got I like ranting, I'm fucking in the mood for ranting, I tell you with them fuckers on there, guys, honestly, honestly, I'm that angry, my microphone's wobbling. I kind of guess what it feels like to be a woman these days, no? Oh my God, slap it around you fucking... Um, that's it. See, it's got a condom thing as well, look. Oh, it's not, it's not even it's not. Uh, right, that's it. I just, I needed to speak to you guys, honestly. Like, I know I've got the members, and that, but I can't really go on the members' website and start effing and blinding and carrying on. Do you know what I mean? You guys, you know what I mean? You're, you're sort of like on my level and that. I like that. And uh, obviously there's a lot of people watching my videos that don't like me, which is fine. Uh, they're still watching but the thing is you guys right well because i read all the comments you put on here you're really fucking good people this is to you individually honestly i see all the comments and you're really good and uh, i watched a video today by um, a good friend of mine called paul robinette he's got a, a youtube channel called renetto r-e-n-e-t-t-o -T he was the first person to get a youtube partnership on youtube back in the day before it was owned by google and when it used to be really good when it was a vlogging website and um, YouTube wouldn't be where it is right now. And you wouldn't be watching this video right now if it wasn't for Renetto. And I've seen his life go up and down like that. The success and everything, the highs, the lows. He's just got divorced, got a new bird and all that. And I was watching his video today when I was in bath, right? Because when I was in bath, you know, I like to watch my vid. Well, I mean, but when my vids, I mean, like, sensible, nice vids. Not ex hamster vids. I mean, nice vids, right? So I was watching him today. And he was saying basically the complete fucking opposite to what I'm saying, right? He's, he does his videos on Facebook now, right? He does his on there. And he very rarely does a video for YouTube now. And he put a video out today saying, oh, I put a video out the other day, but there's people having a go at me, doing me fucking noddling in my head. You know, I don't like this environment anymore, this community. I prefer Facebook. And I'm sat there, well, laid there in Bath, you know, with my duck. I've got a duck. I've got a Liverpool book. Like, live a bird duck that sits in... I have, honestly. If you go on my Instagram, at, at Duncan Alden, you'll see my little duck. My D, I've got DKB fucking bathrobes and not man i have guys yeah towels black towels with silver deep oh, i have honestly don't know it's best yeah yeah, fuck it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, that, I'm that arrogant right so i'm watching his um his vid and he's saying no no i want to stick to doing stuff on facebook i'd rather not do youtube and i was thinking to myself that's weird that isn't it because the people that i have the majority the best people are the ones on youtube and dkb.tv obviously same sort of environment um but facebook 
I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know if it's just people just sat on cheap Android phones or something or knocked off phones or stealing the neighbour's Wi-Fi or something. Because these people, honestly, they're fucking honest, guys. You've no idea how much it sends me through the roof. I, I wanted to jack it yesterday. I really did. And it's bizarre because there's probably 88,000, 85,000 people on there or something. And there's only two or three people that were, that were fucking chuntering. And they get to you more than, the, than the, the masses. And you get all the nice people on there that are great people. But the ones that are thick on there are a special kind of thick. Do you know what I mean? Like you do get the odd troll on YouTube and that. But they, on there, it's like, you know, I don't know. It's just different, guys. You know what I'm saying? I needed to talk to someone about it. I needed to talk to someone about it. I'm sat there yesterday, I'm thinking, I'm 43. I'm 43. And I'm arguing with a stranger on the internet. Do you know what I mean? What is wrong with me? Why did I not just ignore him? Why did I not just block him? Because I'm proud and I would hate to think that anybody would think that would deliberately mislead someone. It's so upsetting when someone says that. And I don't think they realise that. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> right, I'm off. Right. <clears throat> There's a video going on DKB.TV now about Nebil. Is that how you pronounce his first name? Fekker. That Fekker. Right? And a bit, so much, so much to do with his old man, right? So much to do with his old man that he's positive. I just, I need, go and have a look. You'll like this video today that I've done on there. Honestly, fuck the fuck is that? You'll like that video that I've done on there. It's a good video. Um,. And there's also some 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 the latest quotes from the player himself about Liverpool, but in particular the little bit of background with what's going on with his dad is of real interest, and that's literally just gone live now. I was I thought I'd record this video while that was uploading. Um, and guys, if you want to join DKB.TV or the members website, I've done a combined thing now. And so for like DKB is two pound a month, but for four ninety nine you can get the membership as well, the Cop Talk membership. Yeah. God likes to try man. You know what I mean? I've I've got to pay for the lights around me. You know what I mean? I've got to keep my figure up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but seriously, if you if you're interested, uh, the information is in the video description below. And uh, obviously, the more support I get, the more videos I make. It makes it um makes it viable. Do you know what I mean? My time. Uh, that's it. That's another thing as well. Well, then these fuckers, man, when they start moaning, saying, yeah, yeah, you've got your members website, you're promoting your members, it's like, well, what the fuck, do you know, you're a brick, you, you look at the profile on Facebook, you're a, you're a bricklayer, I notice you're a, a builder, you're a builder, do you go and fucking work for fuck all you can, eh, do you know what I mean, if someone went up to me and went, hey, I really like the walls that you make, could you do me a wall in my garden and do it for fuck all, do you know what I mean, guys, do you know the only people that do not moan, right really the majority of the members and the subscribers and they're the ones that have every right to moan you know when i go in one of them little depressive stages and i don't do a video for a week or something technically a dkb.tv subscriber could say hang on don't come on mate but they're the fucking amazing people the ones that moan the freeloading twats on there oh, fucking hell, <sighs> right got that out of the way no, the DKB.TV videos are good ones today, honestly, I think. Uh, I, I need to do a little trailer for that. And uh, listen, guys, have a good weekend. Um, if you're on facebook.com forward slash cop talk, I'm sure you're one of the good people because you wouldn't be otherwise. You just can't educate them fucking morons. And I don't know why I keep pointing here because there's nothing here. There's nothing there. It's just a wall. See this white wall behind me? It's like all the way around. It's like a nut house in here. Do you know what I'm saying? Probably I'm in the right place for it. You know what I'm saying? Right, I need to relax. Tomorrow is the weekend. Uh, have a good weekend. Be safe. Don't get up to anything that you shouldn't be doing. Well, don't get caught. Um, have a good time with your family and friends or whatever you're doing. Uh, if you've got your mum and your dad, tell them you love them because you might one day miss them. And uh, just have a good time. Uh, I do my radio show tomorrow. I do a sports radio show uh, for local radio. Got that tomorrow. Uh, I've got a friend visiting. Um, yeah, that's it. So, um, you know, football, no football really tomorrow is so just see what happens on Sunday and note that we get the result. I do apologise for ranting a lot in this video, but like I say, you're my friends, you're my family, and sometimes I just need to get stuff off my chest. You know what I'm saying, guys? Right, I love you. I'll speak to you in a bit.